The year 2040 seems to be incredibly far. By that time, the world itself and the way we live in it will have completely changed. Huge city-states will be run by super-intelligent artificial intelligence. Autonomous flying transportation and spaceships will take us anywhere in a fraction of the time. All meetings at work for those who have not yet been replaced by robots will take place in the metaverse. Does this sound like reality or just another tech bubble? I'm Nick. Let's get to the bottom of this. It's true that for many 30-40 years is not futurology but a strategic planning horizon. My writers are telling me these are not predictions but the results of serious research, obviously taking into account the ever-increasing speed of technological progress and implementation of its fruits in the present. Mankind is entering an era of turbulence when making a decision in real time can be too late because everything has already changed. Yet, we will try to look beyond the horizon and prepare for the exciting future that awaits us. The first mega trend that we're going to be discussing is technological singularity. By 2040, we will not yet merge consciousness with computers, but artificial intelligence will evolve from narrow to general or close to it, at least. This will be the dawn of true singularity when powerful technologies will radically change our reality and no one knows exactly how. By 2035, new computer sciences such as neuromorphic computing, DNA computing and quantum computing are expected to enter our world and accelerate the transition first to general AI and then to super AI when machines will become far more intelligent than humans. The growth of AI capabilities will be linked to the next trend, the hyper-connected world. Together, they will enable the creation of something absolutely incredible, autonomous worlds, which we will discuss next. In fact, the prerequisites for creating general artificial intelligence are already in place today, and they are multimodal models like Google's Gemini. They can process not only texts, but also video, audio, pictures, and code. The first reviews of the model turned out to be controversial, but the company will definitely further develop the technology, which by no stretch of imagination can continue being called narrow. The second megatrend is the hyperconnected world. 3 and 4G technologies have allowed us to share data around the clock wherever we are. 5G opened up some amazing new opportunities for businesses, such as creating fully autonomous robotic enterprises where machines themselves share the data they need to act in different situations. But the move to 6G promises a colossal leap. This technology will help connect large isolated objects such as cars, homes, and even entire cities into unified systems. They will all become a single interconnected ecosystem. At the same time, hundreds of companies around the world plan to launch tens of thousands of satellites into orbit in the coming decades. This will provide high-speed broadband anywhere, anytime, giving every opportunity to create a hyper-connected world. Combine this with singularity, the creation of a general artificial intelligence capable of managing such a world, and boom, you got yourself an autonomous Earth. What will it be like? Obviously, the changes will affect every aspect of our lives, from education and medicine to how we work and interact with each other and the environment. By the way, perhaps lack of communication will be the only luxury in such a world. How much of the responsibility for managing the entire planet are people willing to shift to AI? What do you think? A serious problem in such a future will be cyber threats, which will be brought on by the development of quantum computers. The beginning of their use for hacker attacks will be doomsday for encryption in its current form. People will have to come up with new ways to protect their information as well as learn digital hygiene. That said, digital life will become an integral part of everyday life all around the world. Has it not already? How far can it go, man? The third megatrend of the future is synergy between humans and intelligent robots. Not a direct symbiosis where we replace our bodies with robotic ones or transfer consciousness into eternal machines. It will be true synergy when intelligent and autonomous robots will be able to act alongside us as our assistants and partners, capturing and understanding our wants and needs. They won't need to be trained. They will understand what and when they're needed and adjust. This combination will add human potential and creativity to robots' capabilities, perhaps endurance, and precision to humans. 
This will push the boundaries of what is possible in all areas of production and creativity, marking the fifth industrial revolution, i.e. Industry 5.0. The fourth megatrend is eternal life and health. In fact, for decades now, billions of dollars have been poured into technologies and scientific developments concerning life extension and eternal youth. No one really wants to live a long life old and feeble. Therefore, it's not just the number of years that matter, but the preservation of health and youth. Immortality is also predicted by many futurologists. Of the methods used today, we can note both scientific, such as cocktails for cell rejuvenation, and unproven ones, such as blood transfusion of the young and cryogenic freezing of the body until better times. In our previous video, we already talked about what scientists are developing today and what technologies the leaders who do not want to grow old are investing millions in. Check it out, it's in the description below. In short, today there are already discoveries that give hope of achieving immortality or at least prolonging youth. But the real solution people hope to get is with the help of the same advanced artificial intelligence. Already now, AI and big data are being used to find new drugs that can stop aging processes, among other things. Research is underway in gene editing and cellular technologies as well as continuous digital health monitoring for early diagnosis. If none of this works, there remains a chance to learn how to transfer your consciousness into a robotic avatar. Would you do that? The fifth megatrend of the future is the digitalization of society. Sounds almost familiar by now, but by 2040, the scale of digitalization may strike our imagination today. The first sub-trend here is to combat deep fakes and hallucinations of neural networks. Work on this is already underway. For example, OpenAI expects to make GPT-5 more honest than the current version. Its competitors, such as Google and Anthropic, say they are initially developing their neural networks with strict security protocols in mind. Also, many tech companies are separately developing neural networks that detect fakes created by other AIs, though this is often not an easy feat. As for the future, by the 2040s and 50s, digital life will be our everyday lives. Digital avatars won't just be present in our place of planning meetings, but perhaps living their own lives in digital universes, endowed with our own characters and other defining traits of our personalities. This will seriously affect social communications and relationships between people. At the same time, a part of the population may decide that the virtual world is preferable to the real world and it's easier to build relationships there. Moreover, it may be easier to overcome social mobility in the digital world than in the real one, which will reduce the level of inequality in society. The sixth megatrend is energy transition. The future of energy will be decarbonized, decentralized, digital and democratized and perhaps one day energy will actually be free. I'm a dreamer. This will be achieved by a shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy, the growth of small-scale on-site renewable energy generation solutions, and the automatic control of energy systems by intelligent AIs in real time. There's also a big bet on free or nearly free energy. These include solar power projects and fusion reactors. Free energy will lead to revolutionary new business models and opportunities that are unique and very different from what we see in the world today. In the face of such changes, new modes of transportation from underground tunnels to suborbital flight seem trivial, as do smart homes, gadgets, and others. One thing is clear, today we're on the cusp of extraordinary changes in our world. And yes, much is still uncertain and some technologies carry potential risks, but actually this has always been the case. Ultimately. Whether or not super advanced artificial intelligence deems us worthy of living on this planet depends on us. We should also consider that the unknown has always frightened people and if our ancestors had rejected everything new for fear of unexpected consequences, what kind of a world would we be living in right now? What do you think? What will the future bring us? Leave your comments below. I could proselytize forever here, but we're out of time. So subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and join our community on Telegram. Until next time, bye-bye.